quick dev tip. Did you know you can use some of the buffer views to help make icons from your in-game assets nice and quickly? So i got an example here, I'm just going to take the skeletal mesh from the mannequin. So I'm going to get nice and close and find an angle that suits what you want. From there, I'm going to hit print screen, which is the button after F12 on your keyboard. Then we're going to go to Photoshop, I'm going to paste that in. Then we're going to come back to our editor view. We're going to go up to lit here at the top, come down to buffer visualization, and we're going to look for specular. So the idea is we're going to use this as a mask. So if we do print screen again with this, go back to Photoshop, paste it in, crop some stuff so we can get a bit closer, zoom in. I'm using Photoshop, but I'm sure you can use something else to do it as well. So here I'm going to go select color range, just pick the color of the specular. And then I can hide that layer, go to the layer, the original layer, and if I use this button, I can make a mask. So if I hide the layer behind, as you can see, we've got a, a nicely cut out version of our asset, exactly like it looks in game. So you can also make this even more kind of suited to your game if you have a certain style or a color palette you use. If you go back to lip and come to this preview scene settings here, you notice under this section here, you can play with a bunch of post colors and such things like that to tweak how it's gonna look. So you could save it as a profile to use it consistently across all your icons. You can use this exact same technique in Unreal 5. So I wouldn't do it completely again, but as you can see, we can take a screenshot here. We can come up to lit buffer visualization and go down to specular, copy that, paste it in, and use that to create a mask as well. But this is a real quick and easy way to make icons, and I do it a lot, especially if I'm game jamming, you can very quickly make icons for your game.